Hi guys, it's Bree. Thanks so much for checking out my channel, Just Breezy. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and pushing the bell so you can receive notifications each time new content is added. So let me ask you a question. When October rolls around, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Fire safety, of course. No, me neither. But did you know October is designated as Fire Safety Month? And as a mother of two young children, I know how important it is to practice our family's fire safety plan. But truth is, it barely happens. And for families with children with autism spectrum disorder, fire safety planning is a must. I know, much easier said than done. So here's a few tips to help your family plan for fire safety. Tip number one, contact your local fire department. Be sure to let them know that you have a family member or child living in your home with autism. They may ask for documentation and will want to know the location of your child's bedroom. Be sure to share any challenging behaviors your child could exhibit should an emergency arise. And while you're at it, ask to schedule a tour. Let them meet the firefighters and check out the trucks should the fire department visit your home. Tip number two, social stories are an excellent tool to help your child learn life-saving information. Be sure to find a story that's age appropriate and easy to understand. These could be found online or made at home to better fit your child's needs. Tip number three, practice is key. The sound of an active smoke detector can be overwhelming to anyone, especially those with autism spectrum disorder. This can lead many families to practice drills without the sound of an actual alarm. The key here is to familiarize your child with the sound prior to an emergency occurring. When you practice, plan for any challenging behaviors that could occur and designate a family member to accompany your child outside of your home. Guys, the take home message here is that many of us don't expect a fire to happen until it actually does. Planning is key. It takes time and patience, especially for children with autism spectrum disorder. The planning you do today could save a life tomorrow. If you have any comments or other tips, please feel free to leave them below. And as always, thank you for visiting my channel, Just Breezy. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Thanks so much for watching.